welcome to another exciting episode of Dynamite. I am your host and commentator, Mr. Mediocre Ten Cunts here, and wow, I mean, what a shocking way to start off the, the, the episode tonight, I guess. I, I don't know, is Jake, is Jake gone? Jake is gone? Any, anyway, ding dong, the witch is gone. Speaking of witches... In typical APBW fashion, we need to find new number one contenders for the women's championships. And of course, we've got Battle Royal set up. This is the Battle Royal to determine the number one contender for the Plan B Championship. The Doctor, Doctor Britt Baker, DMD versus Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair, versus Wack, versus Brandy Rhodes, versus Harley Quinn. This is an over-the-top battle royal. Of course, we're mixing it up here with some WWE bitches, because why not? We gotta throw a little spice into the women's division. The Doctor and Harley Quinn going at it. Of course, those two have history. If you've been watching APPW as long as I've been doing this shit, Harley cashed in on the Doctor to win her first ever APPW Women's Championship. And now they're squaring off in this battle royal for an opportunity to take on Mrs. Mandria. Of course, the shocking return of Queen Hillary throws this whole equation out of balance. I mean, Queen Hillary is not in this battle royal. Will she be in the next one? Who knows? Possibly. That bitch is already queen of the ring. Now she wants a championship back, I guess. She's never been planned to be champion. And it looks like from this battle royal, it's not going to be happening anytime soon. But so far in this matchup, nobody eliminated. Six women. Two former APPW Women's Champions in this battle royal. Of course, Charlotte Flair hunting for her 27th title. Setting her sights on the Plan B Championship is Ronda Rousey. It's tossed by Charlotte Flair. Ronda Rousey can go back, making out with her goats, and taking care of her baby. Charlotte Flair, of course, the queen of the WWE. Look at, she's taken on the first lady of AEW, Brandy Rose, as Harley Quinn in trouble, folks. Harley Quinn is hanging on for her dear life in the corner. But that fails to toss her over the top rope. The doctor and Brandy squaring off. Whack off the top rope just popped her into Charlotte's titties again. And whack with a code brand to Charlotte. The doctor taking out Harley and now going after Brandy. Of course, no entrances because, well, no explanation needed. But the women in this match definitely want an opportunity at the Plan B Championship. It's only been held by one woman. Oh, snap suplex by Brandy Rhodes. Now, whack, taking it to Brandy. As Charlotte versus Dr. Britt Baker. That's a dream match. Nice neck breaker from the Queen to the Doctor. Harley Quinn is lost. She throws a hurricane at Charlotte Flair. 
And look at Harley's measuring up somebody. Harley. Oh! Might have learned that one from Stixie Drip Trip. The doctor! The doctor eliminated by Black. We're down to the final four women. Harley Quinn snake eyes to the queen as Brandy Rose is about to be tossed out by Lap. Of course, Lap with an impressive performance all the way back in the queen of the ring tournament. Way back in last year. And Brandy smacking Lap, calling her a half up. But Lap is right back to her feet. As the princess of crime, the Cupid of crime, Harley Quinn looking to do some damage but fails. She could be seeing the outside along with the doctor. As Wap, oh, gets countered. Of course, Harley Quinn, the first ever Mrs. Money in the Stank. Successful cash in, by the way. Unlike Bailey, but Bailey is currently APPW Women's Champion, so what do I know? <laughs> oh, wow, we're down to two just like that! We're down to two just like that! Who will face Mrs. Mangria, Brandy Rhodes, Jarrett, or Harley Quinn? It's been a very long time since Harley Quinn has had success in APPW. So she's thinking it's about time. Will Harley Quinn square off against Mrs. Mangria? Or will Brandy have a date with the first lady of APPW? And look at Harley Quinn strangling the life out of Brandy. Probably because her reality show sucks. Except for Cody's sister. Harley Quinn now so close to victory she can taste it could we see it right now Harley Quinn is going to launch Brandy over the top and Harley is facing Mrs. Mangria The following programming has been brought to you by The Fudget Club. Ooh. Ooh. Boston's with a Z. What kind of stupid name is that anyway? It's like a rap group or something? I'm trying to act tough like a 12-year-old boy? I'm trying to... It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, I never needed your help. I never wanted your help. Stay in your lane. And long live the Fudgy Club. What the hell? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the club from Kentucky. Weighing in at 250 pounds, Sean! Oh boy. Wow, this guy, this guy just drank a gallon of the Fudget Kool-Aid. He is all in, folks. Look at this guy. Wow, what a difference. Good Lord. <laughs> Facebook, Sean with the tide disappearing into his gut. Completely different from the last time we saw this man. He's, he's happy. This music sucks. But get ready, Facebook Sean. You're about to meet the measuring dick of ADPW.
Champion, a former tag team champion. This man is one step away from becoming a Grand Slam champion. Andy with an I. Here to eat some ass with a spoon. the equivalent of Andy taking on Happy Corbin. It's Andy taking on Happy Sean. Andy with an I. I mean, if there's anyone who can derail the momentum of Facebook Sean, it's Andy. I listed his accolades already. Andy with an I, of course. Responsible, along with Brother Porter. Of being sole survivors at the crumb off, Andy with an eye, riding high. The Fuck It Club. Their pay per view is next month, and he's a big reason why. Later on tonight, we will hear from our APPW champion, Julius Caesar. And Stixie Drip Drip will both have some news for us. Is Andy with an eye. Trading holds with Facebook Sean. Fudge it Club and Fuck It Club clashing once again. The Facebook Sean attacking. He attacked Bostones. Separated his shoulder. Bostones, our decent champion, is not here this week. Andy gonna make Facebook Sean pay for that shit. Of course, Boston's a friend of the Fuck It Club. Facebook Sean, a new lease on life. Wow. It looks like Facebook Sean. Oh, sorry. I'm still sick, by the way. Follow a slam to Andy. Facebook Sean. Using that weight advantage to the fullest. Andy with an eye. Never count him out. But this is going to hurt. Standing vertical. Suplex delivered to Andy with an eye. Scoop slam. As you can see, Facebook Sean is working on the midsection of Andy, which doesn't make a lot of sense because his finisher is that, you know, the infinity punch, he calls it. He's doing damage to the midsection, perhaps taking the win out of Andy's lungs. Oh, speaking of which, Spirit of the Jesus is up. Andy with an eye. That's possibly what he could have been setting him up for. Andy's damage, not looking good. But Facebook Sean, he's about to snap his fingers and hang a right. That could be, oh, look at this. Look at this, Facebook Sean. What is happening? 
This new aggressive side. Of, look at this. That's three in a row. He is, wow. What the hell has gotten into Facebook? Sean. My God, he's, he's torturing Andy. What the fuck? Andy just, he's getting destroyed by Facebook Sean here tonight. This was unexpected. And a spear for what ails ya. Facebook Sean, my God, with an exclamation point on this victory. Good Lord. Facebook Sean, folks. He just defeated a former decent champion, a former YouTube champion, a former tag champion. What the fuck has gotten in to fake? Oh, look at this guy. Oh my God. Wow. Oh boy. Right in front of him. Okay, the, the white half of me apologizes. Representing all white people. I'm sorry about this. This is just awful. The music is awful. Everything about this is awful. Oh God, what is what is going on? Turn me up, son. What up, motherfuckers? It's your boy Jason here, and you know we're here to bring to you another day of the week. So you know, you saw the criminals. We whooped those monkey ass crackers team, Jake. And sit their ass packing. And because of that, we got a new special of the week. But let's run it back. In case you forgot, on Monday, more leak up Monday. For that fuckboy JH and his broken ass morals of fuck shit he's breaks around, we doing happy hour from four until you hit the damn dope ass right here at the Big Brook Cantina. You damn right with the plan B. Is always on me. You damn right. Tuesday, got two for Tuesdays. For that, for that gone cracker brisket and this cracker lord Jake. You damn right. The tiny dwarf dick who couldn't even book their mama to win a match because you just seen them hoes lose. You just seen them lose. Two for Tuesdays where every drink is buy one get one free. Take your ass right aside, go to the club. You know that's right and get your party on at the big run cantina. You damn right. Wednesday, we got washed up Wednesdays. For that cracker AJ Styles and cracker ass trying to challenge me in the ring on behalf of Bretzky. And Bretzky's washed up ass because Stitch put him out. <laughs> His washed up ass. So get washed up. Get you suited and booted. Come on down to the club. We're going to look back, feel good. Get you over that weekday hump, baby. We're going to drink all that party all night and keep it tight. And that cracker you should say on that YouTube page. You damn right. And Thursday. Top out Thursdays. You damn right. So you sign up. You wave the feet. And you drink till you can't drink no more. The winner get a grand prize and the loser gets put on the gravy ass juice hall of shame. Get you an Uber. You got to pay extra tip on that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Tap out Thursday. Drink till you can't tap out. You damn right. Friday. Always fuck it up Fridays. Right here at the Big Run Cantina. You damn right. Fuck it up Fridays. You got the fuck club. We're going to be over here partying with you. Getting it in. You know, keeping it right. Keeping it tight. You know, take the place in the bathroom. Use them crumb catches. 1999. You know what it is, man. Get them crunk catches on, baby. Do what you gotta do. And then, you know, give it a plan B. I'm like, if you need a plan B, it's in the bathroom because it's on me here at the Big Bird Cantina. You damn right. And now, now the new special we got. Sauce Up Saturdays. Damn right. Sauce Up Saturdays, which leads into the Saturday Night Special. You damn right. Saturday Night Special, you gonna get you a mid ribby sandwich with Jack Daniels barbecue glaze on it. Some fine and Fuji, fine and Fuji fries. Spook a little Asian thing on that shit. You know what it is. And a senior painkiller cocktail. You goddamn right. You gonna get all that shit. You order Saturday Night Special. And you wanna come around to the club. You don't even need no password. But in case you did need the password, it's. In the chaos, it's still a bitch. You damn right. You know what it is, but get you a damn Saturday night special. Then come on down with sauced up Saturday. Damn right, we getting all the way sauced up. And you know what we gonna do when we get sauced up? We gonna go to Mangria Fuel YouTube page and watch me, the champ. We gonna watch me, the champ. We gonna whoop that ass on ABBW. You damn right, right here on Mangria Fuel YouTube page. Then. After you see me whoop ass, we gonna bring that shit back. We gonna party here at the 
Big Red Canteen. We're going to take the most in the bathroom. Give them the plan B on me. Use the crumb catchers. And then we're going to pass out and have a great ass night keeping it tight. You damn right. So anyway, y'all motherfuckers, remember that shit. Days of the week. Sauced up Saturdays. Goddamn. Saturday night special. We out here. We still serving million dollar chicken and waffles. We still got million dollar mimosas. The drip god himself will be in the house. And with the eye going to be in the house. Brother Gordon, if you ain't tapping ass, going to be in the house. We all here drinking Party, getting lit, getting right, giving it tight. Now, excuse me, I gotta go to the bar. Well, here we go, folks. It's the second battle royal. This is for the APPW Women's Championship. We all feared it, but good lord, she is back. Hillary, Queen Hillary, Jordan Grace from Impact. Rosemary, TC, Naomi, and Kay Yosef. Mixing it up here once again. The objective should be to get rid of Queen Hillary as fast as humanly possible. <coughs> get, this, get this monster out of here. Who's as white as a fucking ghost? And TC taking it to super fan of Jake. I guess that's in loving memory now. <laughs> Kate Yosu. I guess in her pumpkin spice gear. And it looks like Rosemary's the only smart one here trying to get the Hillary the hell out of here. And Naomi. Bulldog by the Spitfire of APPW. Will Rosemary spit that mist in someone's face? I'm not sure, but TC now setting her sights on Satan herself. Queen Hillary fully possessed. Where she's been these past six months? Who the hell knows? But now she has returned and she is pissed and uglier than ever as TC works on the head and chest of that cunt. And it looks like Jordan Grace could be the first one eliminated unless she hangs on. Famously being called a fat baby by Andy's wife. It looks like Naomi who is in trouble as well. Chaos is setting her sights. Of course, the winner of this battle royal squares off with Our Lady Pam Bailey, the current APBW Women's Champion. There have been no eliminations yet, but Queen Hillary just folded Naomi in half. As Jordan Grace looks to lawn dart Kayosa out of the ring. And old rivals, TC and Rosemary, going at it yet again. No, both women save themselves. Queen Hillary determined. To get Naomi out. Oh, a hell of a thrust kick by TC to Rosemary. And chaos of flying. Lands an elbow on Jordan Grace. Naomi is hanging in there, but Rosemary is not. Rosemary is not the winner of the Sniz Battle Royal. The Cluster Sniz. Battle Royal from Decent Mania has been eliminated. Shocking, shocking first elimination. A has been I just looked down for a second. Who just got eliminated? <laughs> oh, TC's gone as well. Oh my God, Jordan Grace eliminated Queen Hillary. 
Jordan Gray says taking out the devil. And KO7 is taking on Naomi. KO7 and Jordan Grace. Who would have thought this would have happened? Wow. KO7. Winner of the first ever Women's Elimination Chamber. And former APBW Women's Champion in her own right. Clashing with Jordan Grace. Who would have thought, folks? It's the Fat Baby versus the Spitfire. Who is going on to take on Bailey for the APBW Women's Championship? Jordan Grace out of nowhere, folks. Jordan Grace looking to get rid of Pumpkin Spice Chaosa. Chaosa dangling for her life. Jordan is just staring. Also, known for pulling off upsets, but Jordan Grace is having a brain fart, possibly thinking about her next Instagram post where she has a wedgie and she does squats with an obvious camel toe. But I digress as Kayoso looking to conquer Jordan Grace. Kayosa! No! Jordan hangs on by a thread. A tampon string away from eliminating Jordan Grace. But Pumpkin Spice Kayosa gets pulled on by Jordan Grace. Jordan Grace clobbers Kayosa. Who is going to win this? Jordan Grace would be a new woman on this championship scene here in APBW. But Kay Yosef, with the accolades, the pedigree, if you will, championship pedigree of Kay Yosef. Oh, headbutt. Jordan Grace eliminated Queen Hillary, folks. I can't imagine Queen Hillary is going to take that lightly. <laughs> Jordan Grace. And Kay Yosef. Kay Yosef with a package. Oh, wait. Pump handle exploder to Jordan Grace. Kay Yosef on the verge of getting another shot at the APPW Women's Championship. Jordan, though, the fat baby that she is, is looking to eliminate little Kayosa, but it looks possible. She's using her strength. Jordan Grace has won. Congratulations to the fat baby. She's won. She is number one contender. She will face Bailey for the APBW Women's Championship. And now, a message from the 100% owner of APBW, the Million Calorie Man. Oh, happy day. It seems as if APBW just got a whole mega pound lighter. That's right, because that fat sore loser crybaby bitch instead of accepting the consequences from team fuck it club team champ he took his ball and he went home that's right as you saw at the beginning of the episode he left the money in the stank briefcase he left a youtube championship and he just left he disappeared he vanished leaving behind senior pain leaving behind Zanko Rose, even Ribby. He left them all behind because the little sore loser just wouldn't accept the punishment. He couldn't do it. So, before that fat crybaby sore loser bitch is completely gone, got a little surprise for him. You see, the YouTube championship will be defended tonight. As a matter of fact, hold on. Let me call. 
All right, Tyson. Yeah, yes. Can you can you uh, stop Jake before he leaves the building? Oh, oh, he's in the bathroom. Okay, when he's done crying, stop him. Drag his fat ass to the ring. He is defending that YouTube championship. Yeah, yes, yeah, so he'll get your Christmas bonus. Okay, okay. All right, all right, bye. Anyway, yes, Jake. Yeah, you ain't leaving without getting a foot shoved up your ass. Or how about instead a BBC across that face? Because you will be defending the YouTube Championship against the APPW World Heavyweight Champion. And the main event, your final main event, will be against Julius Caesar for the YouTube Championship. So you can take that little, that last little shred of dignity that you use to wipe your ass right now. Smack you upside the head with it. And make sure your fat ass leaves. And make sure my door doesn't break when it hits your fat ass on the way out. As far as money in the stank goes. You see, money in the stank was never cashed in. And, you know, the legacy of the money in the stank briefcase was tarnished. Tarnished by by that, that, that huge waste of space. He didn't even climb up a ladder to get it. He stole it. Never cashed it in. So guess what? It's back in contention. And I'm going to leave it up to the Fuck It Club. The Fuck It Club. At the December pay-per-view, there will be a Money in the Stank match. What type of match? Who is in it? We'll find out eventually. But that might just make the December pay-per-view the biggest pay-per-view of the entire year. Not only is it completely booked and named by the Fuck It Club, but we're adding a Money in the Stank match to that pay-per-view gonna be big it's gonna be huge as a matter of fact so until then ladies and gentlemen enjoy the rest of dynamite the sole survivor, the dastardly, the dastardly Senior Pain tonight in action. Look at the disrespect. You, you stop doing that. Come on now. Gentlemen, somewhat similar styles if you if you really look at it. That a luchador versus somebody who's quicker than a hiccup. Brother Quata moves like a cruiserweight as well. Senior Pain, Brother Quata, extremely impressive at the crumb offs. 
these two gentlemen facing off tonight to see who is the better of the two. We will find out. Hopefully, Senior Payne hasn't hired any more people. Oh, look at that disrespectful punch. He's trying to separate clean. Hopefully, Senior Payne has not hired any more people to do his dirty work. As the ref separates him for a second time. Look at the disrespect. Come on now, ref. Senior Payne. The opposite of honorable here tonight. Respect the quota. As brother quota. Looking to dismantle senior pain. Starting with an arm. Of course, senior pain. He will attack you during your entrance. He will hire a Viking. He doesn't give a fuck. He will team himself. Oh! With the worst kind of people. Senior Payne and Brother Quata. Pinfall attempt. The ref took 40 years to make a pinfall. Does not get a one. That's an all oh, nice uppercut by Brother Quata. Showing his strength off. Tossing. Senior Payne with a sit down powerbomb. Of course, Brother Quarta has not had many matches here in APPW. Believe me, I'm going to change that. Senior Payne, on the other hand, you can argue that he had, he's had too many matches. It's Brother Quarta with the Hennessy. The Hennessy. Could Senior Payne tap? <laughs> it does make sense, though. It's a strategy of Brother Quata attacking the arms of Senior Payne for that Hennessy submission. Senior Payne with a very unluchador like powerbomb. And now a headlock. Oh, look at that show off. He's trying to show off in front of our COVID free crowd. Brother Quata. Oh, give me a break. Senior Payne. With the three amigos, you are not Eddie Guerrero, sir. Stealing his lowrider, stealing his three amigos. Come on, Senior Payne. Who do you think you are? As he picks up Brother Quata. Now he goes for the arms as well. Turnabout is fair play, I guess, here tonight. This one on one match between these two gentlemen here tonight. Oh, look at him again attacking the arm. The reflexes of Senior Payne. Look at them both thinking the same thing. His brother Quata tosses Senior Payne out of the ring. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, your brother Quata has grown wings and he flew over the top rope. Incredible. Senior Payne right back to his feet. These two are incredible performers. Finding it out on the outside, but I must famously say, gentlemen, Mind the ref count, please. I've been drinking and I'm sick. As Brother Quata tossed back into the ring. The Senior Payne. They're going to end this one properly, hopefully. Brother Quata showing off, though. I respect that. As he heads to the tippy top rope. What the hell was that? Uh, uh, this is all kinds of botch. This is going to be on Botchomania, folks. As Brother Quata. What the fuck was that? Holy shit, it was like a spinning Michinoku driver. He gets a two count. Very impressive. Brother Quata. It's heads or tail in it, folks. 
This could be it. Senior Payne in trouble. Brother Porta has conquered Senior Payne. Congratulations. Brother Porta. What the fuck music is this? Put a W for Brother Porta. He tried to get away. He tried to get away. He tried to let it all go. But this is one thing Jay will not get his way in. If he's going to go out, he's going to go out limping. Courtesy of a BBC or two. Even his titles win.
He thought he could get away. He thought he could get away. He even threw his, his quadruple XL Hawaiian shirt in the garbage. Look at him. He's continuing to run. He doesn't want to do any of this. He's running from Cesar. He knows his YouTube championship is the last shred of dignity he has left. Look at him running. Or attempting to run. That's the slowest looking run I've ever seen. He gets back into the ring. He's trying to get out of here. Look at him taunting. Wait a minute, Cesar. Cesar. Snake eyes to Jake. And Jake is still. Oh, man. What else can Jake do? He's trying to quit. He's trying to quit. But what he can't quit is that BBC. Cesar. Wait a minute. So nice. So nice. He does it twice. Wait, <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Cesar, the trifecta hat trick of the BBC. This could be it. Yes, that's it. That's it. Cesar. Cesar. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Big Carpain is champ! He's double Holy shit, ladies and gentlemen, what a hell of a night. We started out the night with the breaking news that apparently Lord Jake has just vanished. He's quit. He, he vanished off the face of the planet. And that's a large man, so that's hard to do. But uh, as you heard, the Million Calorie Man is now in full control of APPW. But the biggest news of all, ladies and gentlemen, we got here. We got the Fuck It Club, including the miracle himself, Stixie Drip Drip, the tribal chief of Drip Island. Also, newly crowned double champion. He's not only APPW heavyweight champion, he is the brand new. YouTube champion Caesar. I know you guys both wanted this time to deliver some breaking news about the the Fuck It Club's December pay per view. So, my man, the champ, the chief, the floor is now yours. Uh, first, first we get started. Tin Khan's great work as always. But for the foreseeable future, can you call me Carpe Duce because I'm out here repping uh, both belts. You know what I'm saying? I don't have the YouTube championship with me. Uh, Brother Quarter is going to do some celebrating since, like, Jake ran away. So, you know, his mom can actually, you know, scream loud tonight. She doesn't have to wear the ball gag. And he said he wanted to slap her on the ass with the belt. Yeah, get it. Get that shit good. I told him, ride that horse. Ride that horse all the way in. All the way in the stable, baby. You know what I'm talking about, Sticks. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> yeah. But Carpe Duce out here, you know, wrecking shop, beating these bitches down. As we do every day. And me and Sticks, we just here because we was on the way to your favorite play. I'll say it with me now. The Big Brunch Can. You damn right. And y'all all know from the shit earlier you seen tonight that we having a little Saturday night special going on. And them shit is half off. Half off because I'm the double champ. Slice, slice the prices in half. Everybody getting in free. Everybody getting in free. You don't need the password. But if you say it anyway, the first shot's on me, baby. And always. Plan B. You know that's right. You know that shit's right, baby. Troy, you know that's I'm right. Troy. <laughs> Troy, sure, you my man, baby. Hey, first round on me, Troy. Actually, you can drink for free tonight, Troy. I don't give a shit. We giving away drinks at the canteen tonight, baby. You know what we do. Celebrate. We celebrate. Somebody call Andy, too. Get his ass in the car. We all go. Ah. Drip Jet is on the air. Pick up Andy with a fucking eye. Nah. We all party in at the Big Bro. Cantina. You know that's right. You know that's right. But sorry, sorry, uh, Tim Cuff, I know you have some questions here. Uh, let's get back on track. Uh, so uh, what's on your mind? Because we don't really give a fuck about Jake. Uh, we just partying tonight. 
Uh, yeah, come on, wrap this shit up, baby. So, yeah, get your dumb ass in the car, too. We all going to the canteen tonight. So, yeah, let's wrap this up, baby. Well, Cesar and Stixie Drip Drip, the world wants to know the December pay-per-view. There's a ton of questions. There's a million questions. Matches. There's, there's. I mean, the, the money in the stank contract is back in the wild. I mean, mm. you have the power, the power to control what happens to the money in the stank briefcase. We want to know the name of the pay-per-view. We want to know the place of the pay-per-view. We want to know it all, sir. What say you, Carpet Duce? So, you know, man, we, we, we thought about this. We were planning it. Um, we planned it out. We knew we were going to win. You know, after that night where we, uh, <laughs> we stepped the middle calorie and mentioned the cantina that night. <laughs> oh, man, that was a good time. That was a good and time. And he got money. Last time either. <laughs> yeah, he can come back anytime. His money's yeah. spent, baby. Um, we, we, had, we had a brand meeting. We all knew what we were going to do. And it's finally, it is agreed. My brothers and I allowed me this name. We, the Fuck It Club, are finally bringing this shit brand to prominence. That is the name of the pay-per-view. It will be prominent. Ooh. It's going to be great. And we already have the main event planned. The main event will actually be for the money in this thing briefcase. Oh, wow. You're gonna yes, have a, it's gonna be a ladder match. A six yes, man sir. for the money in the stank ladder match. Yeah, it's gonna be a multi-man ladder match for mm. the money in the stank briefcase. I will tell you this: there are three people who qualified already. Oh. So we had to think about this. There are some other matches in the way where I can't devolve information right now. People will talk about those when they are. But these uh, three random people all currently have titles are great names, are winners. So I figured they should get a shot. And there will be a special guest joining us. But let me divulge that first. First, in that ladder match, it's me, the champ, just securing my title, trying to win that money in this tank briefcase. Second, there's a guy. He's been doing a lot of winning. His partner's ass. He doesn't really say much, but he's been doing the win of their team. He's the workhorse. And you know me, I love competition. Not shit guys who stand outside the ring and don't do shit and pop off with dumb shits in the chat. But no, guys who go out there and whoop ass and get pins. So piss it, you have been granted a spot in the multi-man ladder match for the briefcase. Also, we seen this man whoop ass all night, one night. But he came back, he got his head together. He was skeeting money shots all over bitches. And I mean, he was skeeting money shots all over the damn ring. King Sam, the king of the ring. I love competition. If he's king, he's the first king of the ring, I got to know if I can beat him one-on-one, -on -one, get up in this rank. So he earns a spot in the Money in the State uh, briefcase match. And finally, finally, there will be a battle royal for a couple other guys. So maybe they don't have matches. Maybe they do. I don't know. But whoever wins that battle royal will earn a spot in that Money in the Stank briefcase well you're saying you're saying that the night kicks off with a battle royal over the top battle royal if my xbox doesn't freeze and the yeah. winner of that battle royal gets added to yes, the sir. money in the stank ladder match damn um, right with yourself mm -hmm. with, i can't believe you added a fudget club member to the ladder match. i'm shocked i'm glad i'm sitting down and how are you the first ever APPW King of the Ring, the man who earned a title shot during that tournament. He did fall short against Boston's Lone Wolf, but Julius Caesar Carpe Duce, just throwing him a bone here, giving him a, an opportunity. I can't do it with my voice is shot. Opportunity. Mm -hmm. At the money in the stank briefcase, my God, this is explosive. What a, so it's going to start with the Battle Royal. That man who wins is competing twice in the same mm -hmm. night in the money in mm -hmm. the stank ladder match. Wow. That is explosive news here. It is called prominence on Christmas yes, Day. It's the birth mm -hmm. of Jesus and APBW mm -hmm. heading all the way to the moon. Wait, seriously? Wait, really? 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 
it was low hanging fruit. You got, you got, is there a fucking can line from fucking wherever Brett's fucking whatever goddamn fucking homeless? Oh, we got, stuff we got rid of him too. Juan, Grimes, he's from, Grimes is writing tonight. He's writing my lines. What the fuck do you mean he's why is, that, why is he in the back? What is this shit? Sorry, you know. You, got, you think it's, fucking, it's, you're taking lines from gravy ass juice? Want, it's, fucking. It's lots of shit for NXT, I feel you know? bad. Yeah, I, I guess, man. I, I'm, yeah, sure. I mean, I guess. I mean, he, he, had a, he had a hard win over the last weekend, too. I get All right, fine. We'll, we'll exactly. let it go. We'll let it go. Yeah. You're still invited. Yeah, he is, you're right. He's a millionaire. His money spins, too. He, he can come to the camp even, too. But yeah, everything you said is correct, sir. Battle Royal to get that final spot in the ladder match. Fight for that briefcase. Win that briefcase, it's guaranteed a future shot at me, the champ. Unless I win it, and then I don't know, I may just like, you know, get drunk and piss on it or, you know, try to fight myself or maybe uh, challenge God like Vincent Man. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with it if I win it. But you know, it'll, it'll, it'll be just another accolade on my many, many, many long titles that I have. Million dollar drip champion, Stixy Drip Drip. Also, I heard you have a major announcement as well. Can you please share it with the peoples? Yes, 10 cunts. I know a lot of people are going to wonder once we start rolling out the matches, you're going to notice one thing. Where's the fucking tribal chief at? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that dynamite, that episode before prominence, yours truly is going to drop an earth shattering, a news breaking, a headline making. Tribal talk where yours truly is going to drop some news on them asses like brother quota drops that YouTube championship on Jake's mm. mama mm. ass the night. And it will cool. divulge everything about yours truly and what he plans to do at prominence. Well, let's, just, let's just talk about this real quick. Let's talk about prominence. Okay. You hear you hear all these people, these fucking these, you know, these people who all hate on a fucking club. And quite frankly, you know, Carpe Duce and myself, we could have just fucking did. We could have had matches railroaded people we didn't like and just sure. been well, sitting in the back fucking from – not even sitting in the back. We could have had a satellite feed coming from into the big brunch cantina where we could have been fucking mm-hmm. racking up a trillion-dollar tab mm-hmm. for fucking mm-hmm. million-calorie mitch to, to fucking pay for. But what do we do? Mm-hmm. What do we do? We are handing out opportunities. Starting off with a battle royal. Where you not only are you going to wrestle, you're going to get a chance at money to stink. Where you're going to go against the fucking champ of all champs, Carpe just Duce. Just saying. In and out. Free, free money. Just free money. Free everybody. money. You're going to go against a guy who just became the first ever king in the ring in APPW. First. A man who might be a man. Fuck, we don't know. He could be a robot. He could be he fucking. He still is a robot. He could be fucking T-1000 for all we know. But we know one fucking thing. Terminator. He, he proves every week that he's in a match with the guy whose initials are J-H, which we find out is stands for just here. That's he it. He carries that team the whole fucking match. On his back. You get that opportunity. I mean, fuck. Where else are you going to get an opportunity like that? Every right. day. Exactly. Exactly. My God, ladies and gentlemen. This is like Stixie Drip Drip said, earth shattering news to start out already. And it's not even over. Next week, Mm -mm. we will have another announcement regarding Mm -hmm. prominence. Mm -hmm. Bucket Club pay per view this December Mm -hmm. dropping on Christmas. So Mm. long, Jake. Sweet Christmas. You ain't going to be missed. So, everybody, thank you for watching. And until next time, stay tuned.